also has a lot of puzzles in it. until Yeah. <laughs> 
also in the, uh, in the split, I don't have a name properly except for the last guy. tricks for me to get first try. So it may take me a couple. <laughs> so these little wind jets, they push you up unless you're using the bugs. It's kind of the whole gimmick of them. you a little boost upwards so you got damaged by the enemy um, and you can manipulate it to um, get an extra height otherwise I'd have to go all the way up and around the map and drop down it takes forever so that's really good I got this in the I used this controller so I'm playing on a 360 controller right now so much ahead of my normal time because I got that trick so early so it's pretty good. Uh -huh. 
So those switches, there's timed ones and permanent ones, that one's the timed ones, so if you hit it, it's only open for a small amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's anything you don't understand, ask. I'll try to explain it best I can. Um, this, this is a skip I'm gonna only try twice. Uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. It'll save a lot of time if I can get it, but it's a literally one frame perfect skip. So you can actually flutter, and if you release on the right um, frame, you can get up there um, without needing to go back around. Ah, I it. Obviously these blue platforms can disappear. So fluttering, it, it kind of just hovers you around, um, it doesn't really do much outside of that, it lets you go a little bit farther. So you can jump up ladders, but you can't jump down them. So there's another skip coming up, I don't know how to do it. Um, didn't save you that much time, but it's called the elevator skip. Essentially allows you to skip doing a... this part right here. So you can grab this guy and do like a little weird double jump to get the lever, but... I haven't figured it out yet, so let's skip to... boring way. weird in this game, so the, the way the slopes are, um, they speed, slow you down at different rates, so the, counterintuitively, the ones that barely slope up slow you down more than the um, 45 degree angle slopes. So you want to kind of jump over those more or so than any of the other ones. So normally when you flutter in a normal maps, it slows you down, but um, when you're doing the board one, actually kind of speed you up a little more, so it doesn't slow you down the floor. I'm just trying to avoid as many of the small hills as possible. Gonna be another really hard damage boost coming up. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so basically, I'm gonna have to try to jump off of this guy. Did I get it? Nope. Okay, so I gotta go get another guy. Let me just go back up. 
I didn't touch him. Got it. Normally, again, you'd have to go all the way around for this one. No! <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> so now I gotta do it all over. So when you die in this game, you start back over from the last zone you loaded into. So if only I had made it to the other zone before taking that damage, it would have been better. Hopefully I can get a first try. Ah, nope. Son of a bee. Shot. If I can't get it, I'm just gonna have to go around the old way. I'm coming out. Oh shit. Forgot 
to plug my laptop in. one they summon little wind pipes that come up um the goal is to hit them on the on the little circle on his chest yeah so you gotta get the little little guys and tag them on the stomach and then he goes into a freak out mode first time he just goes in circles the second time he gets the pipe stay up so you're gonna take a you're gonna take a hit good he went that way first guys are their bomb units they have timers um, each one has their own different time so sometimes you'll see me kind of shoot just in the air randomly I do that because it stops your momentum and stops you from having a floater on this. Save some time. Grab them. Oops. I thought they just give you hearts. Come back through. Let's see if I can get this style play if I can at all. Yeah, I did. Cool. <laughs> Normally you just have to jump up and grab them separately once you land and then jump again, but... Got it that time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so the little arrow boxes, they blow up in the direction you throw. Or they blow up in. So if the air is pointing up and you hit him with a with a bomb, it, it blows up upwards. Um, the biggest thing with um, with these is you can either wait for the countdown or if you hit them with the box, you can. Um, I'll show here. I don't know how. There's a couple second frame, but so if you hit them with the bomb first, then they then they blow up immediately instead of waiting for the timer. Bomb with the brick up there. Can this guy throw him? So I throw him so I can use him right here to hit the lever. There's a little lever down there that normally you would have to wait for the bomb to blow up. Yeah, you don't want to fall down there early. Alright. Let's see. So a lot of people don't get the star first, I throw the box first, so it already... Because if you get the star first, you're just waiting on it to... For the box to drop down enough so you can get by. Okay. Some of these I might have to wait a second, because they're not always go right from the start. Alright, I'm going to try to get this, get this one. I've never gotten this one, so if I get a first try, it'll be cool. So basically... What you do is you jump right before you hit the ground, and you gotta you try to grab them. No, I didn't get it, that's okay. It's very hard, I've seen a lot of people skip that one. This one though is pretty mandatory. Whoops. Okay, this is a kind of fun glitch. Uh, it's not really a glitch, it's just kind of... So if you put that box there, that up arrow, and you come around, you shouldn't be able to do this normally, but it mega jumps you up, so you can just skip <laughs> having to blow up all those different boxes. Alright, right here I'm about to kamikaze. But um, oh, I messed it up. Dang it. I'm supposed to jump on one or two. It's okay, it's still a time save. There we go. Normally you gotta blow up the thing and blow up blow the box up and then you grab them again and jump. So it's still a pretty good time save. This is the easiest star in the game right here. <laughs> I don't know even why they put that in there. So if you position yourself correctly, you can hit that twice in a row. Oh, there we go. Missed it. So you only have like a little portion to get that done on. You can get stuck on ladders. See, you gotta hit it right as you. So for a Game Boy Advance game, this game is very technical with its inputs. <laughs> It is not forgiving. Ah, oh, 
see all that speed I lost because I hit the the slight slope. Sometimes those things might be faster to use, but most of the time we just try to avoid them. Actually flutter all the way to the top of that thing. There we go. Alright, 37. I'm trying to remember how crappy this one is. So you'll you'll see sometimes I'll do R or um, B. Um, it's the same, it does the same function, it's just preference for that moment. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Actually, yeah. So I was talking to Mrs. So you have a very small window to do this in. So you grab them, you throw them, you pick them up. Come all the way around. Drop. Yeah, no, no margin for error on that. Still holding the box for. Okay. Oh wow, you should be hit there. Oh come on now. Um, so some of the switches they make these boxes bigger or smaller depending on where they're at. Switch. Oh, oh my god. Ugh, that's such bad timing. So what happened there is if anything hits these things, they blow up. So since I threw it into that guy while he was going, coming down. There we go. That sucked. Alright. So, there's a, these boxes, they're so... Click through it. Alright, I'm gonna potentially take damage here. There's a heart right there. Okay, this one's kind of weird. So, you can jump off of boxes as they're <laughs> getting bigger. It's kind of fun. There's a couple tricks later you can do with that. Unfortunately, there's only one way to do this. First time it shows you where he is, the second time, the whole time, the second time it just shows the arrow where he is. And then um, the last time it doesn't even show you, but it's not that difficult. hated world in the whole game. Another. 
Uh, so water hurts Konoa. Um, just like most games. I don't know if that's a bad thing I'm gonna hit there. So certain switches will turn the water off. Yeah, it's a very bad thing. I'm just gonna take the KO. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit the water and then grab that guy and keep going, but... Okay, so this level introduces waterfalls. There's a trick you can do. Oh, I messed it up. Where you can throw the box in and jump behind it, but I'm not going to do it again. Of course. So basically, it just launches you in the opposite direction. Oops, I gotta go this way first. Okay. Oh my god, I got a first try. I cannot tell you guys how many. <laughs> hours I've spent just practicing that one move. So if you miss it, you fall short or you jump up without getting the guy. So it's really good I got that first try. I've never gotten that first try, so that's good. Just checks and balances this, this, this go. There we go. in this game is if you're holding something it's not cluttered. Oh, that's okay. You have to throw the box and then chase it. Okay. Okay, this introduces arrows. So whichever the blue arrows you can manipulate, the red ones you can. You skip this whole key sequence if you get this. Get it? Nope. 
So it's a type of damage boost. Um, nope. It's a type of damage boost you can do. Normally you'd have to go get the key and then go all the way around. Uh, the other benefit is all these blocks are already down, so it saves you time. And, uh, go hit that lever. And... So now I can just go with it. Come on. Oh, I'm not using this controller next time. Oh my god, that was painful. Okay. Ah. Manipulation. Uh, these guys just shoot at you, they're kind of not that big of a deal. So this world is literally cancer. It's the worst thing ever. I think next one is gonna be hit by the spike and just get the speed boost. <laughs> so you can actually do a little trick there. I only got the propeller and I got hit by him, so it also gave me the speed boost through the flutter. The, the one thing didn't get down. You can flutter here, but I'm not good at the timing on it. If you hit the ceiling, you can flutter a second time. It's really weird.
heart key. spend all this time making the maps and just one damage to avoid it all. Okay, whoops. This guy, <sighs> he just does. <sighs> Come on. Okay. So the first one's easy. Yes, I got it. Okay. And then he flies around the map. You just avoid him. Um, the hard thing is, as you go, those arrows start to move, so you gotta time it. Wow. First time he does three, the second time he does four. Hopefully, I can get a good enough RNG. Typically you would already have a guy ready, so when you're under him, he'll slam down. Um, and then you just hit him when, when he slams. Maybe I can still do it. Oh, no. If I landed that, I could have. Let me see if he'll do it. Come on. Yep. Oh, I got robbed. That was cheap. That's what's supposed to happen. I got robbed the first time. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. This one introduces these little things that the green boxes meet match the green circles. See right there? Stop my poor momentum so I can just kind of slide around. Okay, this input's very precise. Hopefully, I can get it. Ah, oh well. You grab the guy, turn, and jump at the same time, but this works too. Oh, I screwed it up. Bad one. I just saved you from having to jump there. It's not that big of a deal. So those little gems on the map, they, um... Oh, so I kill that guy, first off, I kill that guy because he'll interfere right here when I'm trying to do that part. So the little gems you can collect, um, damn it, I didn't get it. The little gems you collect, there, it's twice. There we go. Um, you can get them for 100%, they really don't do anything other than that. Other than just collect. Um, collecting them. There we go. Oh. Alright, this introduces teleporters, literally. Numbers meet the numbers, two goes to two, three gets to three. Super intuitive.
Normally you'd have to get that block, go all the way around, hook it up, go back up. It's a real pain in the butt. There's a faster way to do this, but I'm not good at it, so... Way I know. It's not that much faster, but every little bit counts. Doing that on this controller. Try to pay. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So when you just grab something, it uh. Just uh, throw it and it kind of just drops it under you. I think one heart's okay. Do any more damage tricks? This is a kind of fun one to do. I'm doing is I'm since it's moving you can hit it fairly off each time. Oh, this is killing me on time. And then if I'm too close it does that. Ah come on now. I've already finished it by now. First try every time. It's just the game's in full screen for me, so it's bugging me out. Alright. This is the exact same, just with gears instead of slopes.
you want to try to get as far over as possible when you finish, so that it takes less time to get you there. Okay, this time we don't do 5-7, we do 5-6. Um, it's actually faster and easier. However, this level is like that, those Mario ones where they kind of scroll. And if you're underneath the scroll, at any point you die. Um, has three little zones. There's this main one, and there's a side one where it goes left or right. And then there's... Um, Flutter. Yes, got it. Okay. All right, boss time. So this is actually two bosses. It's um, I thought the eyes are on, but so that's the king. That's shooting that thing up. There we go. Um, so the whole premise of the game is the king's in a dream. Uh, or he's in a nightmare. He forbids dreams. And uh, it's your job to try to rescue him from his own dreams. Oh, that sucks. That means I gotta do this all over again. Oh. oh okay, that's good. Um, so the first time he doesn't really do much. Alright, next one summons lightning that shoots down. So does, does water always go in the same direction? It's just to stop you from going in one area or the other. Alright, cool. right, here we go with lightning. So it's, it's active the whole time, and so until it goes away, so you can't really run into it without taking damage. He's easy, but he's RNG heavy. Okay. This is the final boss coming up. Okay, let's 
so what he does is he's got three masks, red, yellow, and blue. Um, you have to use the thing, the monsters, to knock his mask around. Um, the only way to knock his mask off to damage the thing you just pulled into him is to get a matching color. So that's red. So we're going to force him to change blue. There we go. Hit him, there we go. So he has different moves he does. This one he summons these little things that shoot up. Um, freaking annoying. Oh, and this level will rotate. That's why you saw me struggling so hard. But you can just negate it by jumping. Flutter in it. Kind of just negates the whole thing. <laughs> kind of fun. All right. So this time, the first time he doesn't change the mask on his own. The second time he changes it fairly quick. And the last time he changes it very quickly. Uh, on his own. There we go. So pretty clean. So time ends after the last hit. And then he does a, a little thing just like the doctor guy did. You can kind of gauge where he's at and where he's going to come from. That's our middle one. Alright, and then that's a left one. Yes! It's time. Oh, 105 flat. Sweet. Not too bad. For a first go. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely not using this controller. It's the, uh, the D-pad. It does diagonal direction input too easily. To sync my PS4 controller up. Yeah, that's that's the room. Thanks for watching. Um, if anyone has any questions.